Hey guys, Jeremy here, uh, again on my little vacation here. Um, just wanted to talk about the Defenders. Now I know I'm a little late with this, but mainly because I wanted to do a video with my camera instead of just doing one of my phone reviews. Now, the Defenders was something I had been looking forward to for some time. Admittedly, I actually got into the whole Marvel Netflix thing really, really late. By the time I started watching Jessica Jones, Daredevil Season 1 was out, Jessica Jones had already been out for a while, and Daredevil Season 2 was almost in release. So, Jessica Jones was my first one. Now, that took me a while, mainly because Jessica Jones was an extremely slow burn. It was cool, I liked the characters. Uh, David Tennant was amazing, obviously, as Kilgrave. The one thing that I said that was the best part of that show, however, was him and how the first season ended, I was like, they're gonna somehow bring him back because there's no way that Jessica Jones will be as good a second season after having such a stellar villain. And supposedly he will be coming back in season two. Then I saw Daredevil season one and season two, and holy shit, those were amazing. The fight scenes, the fight choreography was incredible. The storytelling was great. Char Charlie Cox is Daredevil. He's amazing. I love the side characters, I love the side stories. And Fisk, Fisk was incredible. One of my favorite scenes is from season two, when Daredevil or, or uh, Matthew Murdock realizes that by having put Fisk in jail has accomplished nothing. And I thought that was one of my favorite scenes. Um, then Luke Cage was out. Luke Cage was cool. Honestly, Bo, halfway, halfway through that season, the whole show just came to a screeching halt because what's um, he died, Mar Mar Marshall Ali? I can't say his name, but he died, right? And then we had Diamondback, who was a terrible villain. And I did not even bother watching Iron Fist. I heard he was just shit. All right, so those are my recaps of all the other pre previous seasons. If I were to say my favorite ones, it's definitely Daredevil season one and two out of all of them, I, mainly because of the fighting. So, The Defenders. It was The Avengers, but with TV. It's shorter and it's really, really basic. All the whole basics idea of it is, is that the five fingers of the hand have come together, Scorny Weaver, Madam Chow, whoever was the villain in Iron Fist who apparently died and then came back, um, this creepy Japanese guy, and Oh, this black Haitian guy. Um, and it was so simple. That, now, admittedly, the best things about this was the chemistry. The chemistry well, between the four was really good. It was casual, not casual, but it was, it didn't feel forced. It was, it had time to grow and, and interesting how they all met up. Like, it took until the sixth, the seventh episode until Daredevil finally got into his outfit, which was pretty cool. And I liked the chemistry between them. However, the story is just so simplistic. There's a very simple plan that involves the whole from the second season of Daredevil. But you would think that these people who have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years would have had a better contingency than four people coming in. Like, they didn't even get the Avengers. They got the lower Avengers. <laughs> Technically, I don't know. They could barely handle Iron Fist. How the heck were they gonna handle these four? Anyways, Sigourney Weaver is great. Sigourney Weaver is amazing. She carries such presence and such tone throughout every scene she's in, and not only just with how she acts, but also with what she says and her clothing. Her clothing reflects on a character, or on a person who has lived throughout the ages. And I was a little bit upset that you never got to see her do anything physical, because I wanted to see what this power was, but. I liked her. Electra's back. Uh, she's the Black Sky, which that was a really stupid story idea. I'm I'm sorry, but that was probably one of the worst ideas of this. They kept on leading up to this, this Black Sky, in season two of Daredevil, and all it was was just Electra with swords instead of size. It was just so mediocre. It was so. It was a bit of a letdown, to be honest. However, it's. I like it that it's eight season. It's eight episodes. It's slow as shit for the first three. But honestly, I don't see what else they could have done. Some people are saying that they could have had more episodes in it, but for fucking what? There was such a simplistic storyline in this episode. There was in this season. There was. This was literally just the buildup. It was the Avengers. One very simple, simple plot thread that was spread out over eight episodes. And I liked it. I'm not saying that I didn't. I had a great time. The fight scenes were really good. I think that 
Again, the chemistry of all the characters, everything moves decently enough, especially after episode three. However, it's just, in terms of the originality and just the whole idea of what the whole show was, I would rather watch any of the other shows again than this. Eh, maybe like the half, the first half of Luke Cage I would watch, and then maybe The Defenders, but I don't know. Daredevil season one and two, Jessica Jones and, and at least half of Luke Cage are better than The Defenders in terms of a story thread, in my opinion. Not to say that it wasn't a bad time, I enjoyed it, but out of all of them, I would rather watch any of the other ones again first. So in the end, my rating for The Defenders season one is a four out of seven. I enjoyed it, I thought it was a good time, but in terms of just its originality, its plot thread, the whole point of the entire season, I felt that it was highly squandered. Also, that ending was bullshit. Like, okay, I knew there was a season three coming, but what's the point of even pretending to fake his death if you're not even gonna hold off until season three? Anyways, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. See you guys next time.